Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you step by step how to install Invoke AI on Windows 11. So if you're interested in making AI generated art, this video is for you. You can find all the information about Invoke AI on their GitHub page, but the first step to installing Invoke AI is to make sure you have Python installed on your computer. I initially thought that I could use the latest version of Python, however whenever I downloaded the latest version of Python version 3.11. Invoke AI gave me an error when it tried to find a compatible version of Torch to install. In order for Invoke AI to install properly, I found that I had to install Python version 3.9.13, which has given me the most success so far for compatibility with some of the major AI GitHub repositories. So the first step is to head over to python.org, hover over downloads and click on windows and then scroll down until you see python 3.9.13 and then you should be able to hover over the windows installer 64 bit. Go ahead and click that and open it and you're going to want to make sure you click the checkbox on the bottom that says add python 3.9 to path and then just go ahead and click install now. It'll ask you to click yes. And now you just got to wait a second for the installation to finish up. Now that you have Python installed, head over to the Invoke AI GitHub page and scroll down where it says get started with Invoke AI and hit to go to the latest release page. And then scroll down again where it says installation and hit that button for the Windows installer. And then go ahead and un unzip that file, extract it, and double click install and you're going to have to click more info then hit run anyways says you gotta install python 3.9 or higher which we've already done and then you have to click this window long path thing and run it just go ahead and run that and click yes and then okay now it's going to ask what path you want to install this to and i just changed mine to go directly to my c drive took about 10 minutes for it to fully download. My internet speed was around like 30 to 50 megabytes a second. Alright, so once it's about a third of the way through downloading, it'll ask where you want the default directory for image outputs to be, and I just hit yes to accept the default location. Then it pops up a message asking if it wants you to blur out sexual content. I said no for that one, I really don't care. I'm not doing this at work. Next, it will ask you for an access token from Hugging Face. You will have to make an account for Hugging Face if you don't already have one. It's pretty easy to do. Then just go ahead and create an access token, copy that code. You have to right click in the terminal and it'll copy and paste that code in and then just hit enter and it'll finish downloading for you. Now that you have Invoke AI installed, go ahead and navigate to your C drive and then go to the invoke ai folder and double click on invoke and then go ahead and hit the button 2 for the browser based ui and the terminal is gonna think for a minute or two here and then whenever it's done thinking it'll spit out a link and you can either control click that link to have it open up your browser or you can copy and paste that link into google chrome or whatever internet browser you work in and it'll load up invoke ai Alright, so by now, you should have Invoke AI installed, and you probably have it open and ready to go. So you can start typing in a text prompt for the AI to try to recreate. Right now, for an example, I'm just trying to make a scenic hiking trail in the northwestern United States. And then I decided I wanted to add a mountain biker in on the trail. So I typed in a prompt to add the mountain biker in. Now I have the left side masked out and I'm, I told it to add a tree stump in. I want a tree stump and my end goal is to have a squirrel on a tree stump. So uh, I kind of like, yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. I like that stump though. I think I'm going to go with that tree stump. So now I'm going to give it a prompt to try to have it make a squirrel. And would you look at that, I got a squirrel. 
If you enjoyed my video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content coming soon. And let me know down in the comments if you managed to get Invoke AI installed and if it works well for what you wanted it to do for you. Later, guys.